Mm-hmm. Hey guys, Quinn Myers with you today. Uh, team lead at the Silk Real Estate Group in San Diego, also part of Remax Coastal. And we've got a question that we're answering today for one of our clients in North County. This video is part of a video series where we're answering questions for our clients uh, from real questions, real life situations, and it's part of our San Diego buying and investment guide. Uh, his question is, what is a 1031 exchange? I will say that if you're to the point where you're considering a 1031 exchange, it would be a good idea to reach out to your uh, legal professional and then tax trusted professional. And that's just my opportunity to stress that this video is really just for informational purposes. This is in no way a strategic advisement. And we suggest you always reach out to professionals and get professional advice uh, from those legal and tax representatives before you do make a move. But let's get into it. A 1031 exchange is section 1031, 1031 section of the IRS tax code. It's also known as a tax deferred exchange. And what that is when it comes to real estate is if you own an investment property and you're looking to buy an equal or greater in value investment property, you are able to defer those taxes, that tax implication upon the sale uh, to the sale of that second property. To give you an example, if you bought a property in 2010 for $100,000 to make math simple, and today you sold it for $150,000, that $50,000 gain would be taxable at usually the capital gains rate, uh, both federally and by state. By taking advantage of the 1031 exchange, you could put $150,000, and you have to use the full 150, the proceeds from that sale, to buy an equal in value or greater in value property that is of like kind within a certain time period. And that time period is 180 days to purchase the property and 45 days to elect which property or properties that you are going to purchase. So it doesn't exclude you from paying the tax, it just defers the payment of that tax to the sale of that subsequent second property. Now you can do a 1031 exchange again on the second property, sell the second, buy the third, but eventually that tax bill is going to come due. And that's why it's called the tax deferred exchange. You're deferring that tax to the future. The reason you'd wanna do this is because your buying power is now increased. Instead of selling that property today for $150,000, paying the tax, and then whatever's left, you can put into property number two. You now have that full $150,000 at your disposal to put into that second property. Now, obviously we're talking about the US government here and the California state government. It's not necessarily that easy, but that is the baseline structure for what a 1031 exchange is. Hope this was helpful to you. As always, we suggest that you reach out to your legal and tax professionals uh, before you do make a move, before you do make a decision and sign on the dotted line. Uh, This is just general information. Again, my name is Quinn Myers with the Silk Real Estate Group in San Diego, and we thank you for your time. Yeah, just then I see a twinkle, twinkle in the old man's eye and a wave toss.